Hong Kong was without a bishop for almost two years, but now the Pope has appointed 61-year-old Jesuit Father Stephen Chow to lead the diocese. Until now, Father Chow served as provincial of the Society of Jesus in China. It's a significant appointment, since Beijing will interpret it as being symbolic of the tone Pope Francis is setting with China. Take up, and Hong Kong is what is a place I really love. Okay, my birthplace and place where I've grown up. Father Chow's first mission will be to build unity among Hong Kong's Catholics. They are currently divided between those calling for the church to take a tougher line with Beijing in defending religious freedom, and others who would prefer to keep a lower profile. Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam and Jimmy Lei, a businessman who has become one of Beijing's most outspoken critics, are both Catholics. Defending religious freedom is a highly sensitive issue. Unity in plurality. Okay, so we need to respect plurality. It's reality. Huh? So how do we learn to respect plurality is something we all have to learn, I think. But for me, uh, religious freedom is a basic rights. And I, I surely hope, and I will really talk to the government, encourage them, like, you know, don't forget that it's important uh, to, to allow religious freedom, practice of faith. Father Stephen Chow will be ordained a bishop on December 4th to give the Jesuits time to name a new provincial to succeed him. Meanwhile, Cardinal John Tong will continue to govern the diocese. So that under his leadership, our diocese may serve the church and society with wisdom and love. Father Chow faces a difficult mission in a sensitive part of the world where political and religious challenges are the order of the day.